Hello friends, welcome back. Today we will be learning something very interesting that is how to send emails with an HTML table using Excel VBA macros. So as always, let's begin by first seeing a demo. So this is my uh, sample data sheet with some sample data in the form of a table. So when I click on the send email button, the contents of this table will be sent over an email uh, via Outlook. So this is my Outlook. I will show you and if you see there are no items in the sent items so when i come back and click on it now it has executed if i see my sent items now you can see the email has been sent along with the html table so the table data which we had in this data sheet now it is sent over an email in the form of a table so in this tutorial, I will explain you the script which is doing this task of taking the data from the Excel sheet, then formatting into this kind of an HTML table and sending it over via Outlook. Interesting, let's dive into the code. So to write the code, we have to go into the developer module and Visual Basic, or you could use the shortcut keys Alt F11. Once you are over here, go to the Excel sheet, insert module, here you could create your sub, give any name of your choice and sub will come automatically and this is the place where we'll be actually writing the script. Since we are sending the emails via Outlook, the first two lines we need to create an object of Outlook. So you should uh, have these two lines and also very important when you are trying to do this, uh, you have to make sure within tools, references, this option Microsoft Outlook, Outlook 16.0 object like library is selected. So you may have to just scroll down, find it, and select it and click on OK. If this is not selected, this may not work and it may start giving you errors. Once uh, these two lines are ready, like uh, we have created the object of Outlook. Next is like we have to actually format the text which we need to send it over an email. If we go back to our email, if we see, uh, we have this subject as the latest data then this text hi all please find the latest data given below and then we have the table and then the signature so how do we do that uh, using the vba code i'll show you right away so first we will create a variable for the subject like this so i create any way like a variable name str subject you could have any variable name of your choice str subject is equal to latest data so this is the subject so whatever you mention over here would come up as the subject latest data in our case uh, next is the body of the email now. This is very important because we need to insert this HTML table. So what we'll do is like we will put this entire body as an HTML. So how to do that? Now we'll write the code for that. Code goes like this. We'll create another variable as str body. If you see carefully, we have assigned str body with the HTML. So we have to write the tag as it is within double inverted quotes within the angular braces html so this is the tag which is defining that we are trying to format the text into an html html format so your body has to begin with this tag now the other parts of the email the other parts like these texts we have to include it in the email so we'll have to append this with the body for that the code goes like this so here we are using the str body variable which you had created and we are appending it with this line str body and percent hi all and these two lines are break lines so if in the email body if we'll see these are html tags which are providing these kind of break lines so we have some space between hi all and the next line please find so that space of these break line html tags which are over here so the next line uh, in the email which is Please find the latest data given below. You could see the str body is again getting appended with this. So str body is equal to str body and within double denoted quotes this line. And we also have a break line character over here. Okay, so at this point uh, we have covered until here. So we have the subject line, we have this text. Hi all, please find the latest data given below. Now comes the interesting part where we have to create the HTML to have this table. So let's write the code for that. The code goes like this. We have another variable called str table, and we are assigning this str table with this text. Now, this is very important. 
Here, this BR is just a break line tag. Next tag is very important, this table tag. This tag is telling that we are trying to build a table with a border of so if you want thick borders, you could maybe like have a border of five. I leave it up to you all. Uh, next tag is also like a part of the table body. So we have to mention it as T body. And this tag next TR is for the row, which I'm removing it right now. And I'll put it in the next line. But this line is very important. This variable str table because this is the beginning of the HTML table. Now, next thing is like we have to have these headers so we we need these headers in the table so for that we have the html tag of th so how do we implement that i'll show you right away to have those headers we will have the syntax like this so we are appending the str table str table ampersand and we are using the th tag align is equal to center so whatever items would be there would be centrally centrally aligned and then we are writing what we need in the header so uh, as you see over here the header item name so this he header item name in the bold is coming because of this syntax the th tag th tag by default bolds the characters now to have it inside a like I, if you remember i had removed the tr from here because we need this th within a table row so for we'll have to add another line of code over here str table is equal to str table ampersand within double inverted quotes within the angular braces tr tr is for a row so this is the table beginning of the table this is the first row and within the row we have this th tag so sim like similar to item name we have other uh, other headers as well and we need to include that as part of this row for that the syntax goes like this so as we had the item name we have the other columns in similar manner we are just appending the str table variable with the other headers so at this point all the headers are available and now we need to close the row so this is the header row and i am closing it right now with the slash tr Okay, so at this point, uh, we have the subject ready, uh, some part of the body is ready and the table with the headers. So what I mean is like uh, from this email, uh, the subject and this text, hi all, please find the latest data given below and the headers like we have written the script up till here. Uh, next part is like we'll need the data from these rows. So from the spreadsheet. Uh, after the headers, we need the data which is present over here from row number two to six. So how can we achieve this through the code? It is very simple. I'll show you the code goes like this. Okay. So first I've created a variable in rows and I've assigned it to six. Uh, the, the reason I have kept it as six because we have six rows over here. How to make it dynamic? I'll show you in a while. But for now I have made it as a hard code six over here. And now this is a for loop which is iterating from row number two to row number six. So that is starting from row number two over here up till row number six because from row number two to six, we have the data which we need to put it in the email. And here you could see the next lines of code which I am highlighting. Here are a few variables which is like fetching the data from the respective cells. So for, for this line, for example, this uh, item name, it is fetching the data from the sheet which is named as data uh, from column B row number from this for loop as two. So it is pointing to printer. So this, as and when this for loop will get executed, it will start appending each row into our HTML table. So if you see these lines, which I'm highlighting right now, these are the ones which are actually appending this data in the form of an HTML table. So what we have done over here is like, we have used the same str table variable and we are appending it with this syntax. So str table and so this is very important we are starting a new row so that is the tr tag and within the row we need the td td is the column so we had the th tag for the header td tag is for the column and then we are appending the td with the actual uh, item name which is coming from here and we are ending the td tag over here so this is one of the columns next line 
we are inserting another column. So this is str quantity. So whatever is the value of the quantity will be put in over here. Similarly, the cost per unit and the total cost. So if you remember the tr tag is starting here and we will end it over here. So this would be for each row. So for each row, these four column data will get inserted. So at this point, uh, the HTML table is ready with uh, all the data rows. Now, uh, if you remember, like we had hard coded that this total rows as six. So instead of this, we could replace it with this syntax. So this syntax will give us the total number of rows. So this loop will iterate for the total number of rows which are present in this data sheet. So if there are more rows, uh, then uh, the loop will continue and the row, the data rows will get appended to the body of the HTML table. So our HTML table is now ready. So in the next line, we will close the HTML table tags like this. So we are appending the str table variable as str table ampersand and slash t body slash table. So the tags which we had opened earlier on, if you would see at this line which I am highlighting, we had opened the table tag and the t body tag. I am closing those at this line. So now the table is complete. Now one thing which is remaining is like we have to append the table with the signature. So how we can do that, I'll show you. It is very easy. Let's go back into the code. So here we create another variable str body one. So if you see uh, str body one, I have just mentioned this as regards and we have the break line character so that it uh, has, it goes to the next line. And now I'm appending this str body one with another line and I'm just writing whatever is the name. So whatever you want to mention it over here, your name, company name, you could mention it over here. And uh, then we are placing a, another break line over here. So if at this point, like if you see, like we have three variables in total, like the str body, like we are starting from the str body, then we have str table and at the bottom we have str body one. Now we want the entire thing to go into the body of the email. So for that, I'm creating another variable str html is equal to str body. Now I am appending it with str table and finally another appending with str body one so the starting part of the email which is hi all please find the latest data given below is available in str body str table has the entire table structure and str body one has the signature so this is ready and now finally i'll close the HTML tag like this and our entire body of the email is now ready. The last part which is remaining is like we have to use this body and send it over an email. So that is very simple. The syntax goes like this. So this is the syntax which will be actually sending the email. So you create an object of uh, any any name of your choice. You could put uh, object email and use the obj outlook which we had created at the top here. We had created the obj outlook object. So we are using that to write dot create item. This keep it as is, and these lines of code should be as is. Just you have to change the two. Like this is to whom you want to send the email. Subject is like here. I have hard coded it, but I can replace this with the variable str subject which we had defined earlier on so i am removing it so that if you want to change the subject you have to just change the variable name over there and whatever is the variable name uh, would be there in that email and then html body this is very important dot html body because this is the thing where we are telling that i want to send the body of the email as an html and whichever variable is storing the entire html in our case this is this str html that should be mentioned over here so that is over here and dot send so dot send will actually send that email and that's it this is the entire code so if everything is right like if everything we have mentioned it correctly then we will see the email going in so let's try this and hopefully there there are no errors so i click on this green button it has executed it was pretty quick let us go into our uh, email uh, in the sent item you could see there is another email right now you could see the timestamp it is 12:46 just a minute ago so 
this mail was correctly drafted and it was sent so this is how we can write the script to actually send an email with the html body and html table this entire code uh, do not worry about this this entire code is available on the blog over here i'll show you uh, on automationenergy.com within this tab this is the option send emails with table so you'll get this entire code you could use it for your reference and create your own automated solution so this is it i hope you found this tutorial helpful like my videos i would request you to please subscribe to my channel so that you would be updated with the latest videos i would be uploading guys thanks for joining i'll see you soon bye bye